Hello friends, today we are going to discuss the relative dating techniques. The age of the rock or fossil or anthropological remains can be determined by two methods that is relative and absolute dating. Relative dating techniques determine relative age of one rock with another. The technique involves the use of geological laws that is law of horizontality, law of superimposition, law of uniformitism, cross-cutting relationships, fossils and the cultural materials. Law of horizontality. The layers of rocks are deposited horizontally. The rocks that are not horizontal are subjected to lateral movements. The law of superimposition states that the layers of rocks of lower strata are older than those that are present in the upper strata. Law of uniformitism The earth processes that occur today occurred in the past producing similar geological features. The cross-cutting relationships discusses how rocks and sediments are deposited in relation to each other. The fossils and archaeological sites can give you an idea about the relative age of the rock in which they are found. Second relative dating technique is fluorine dust. This technique was introduced by Adolf Kalmott to measure the fluorine content of the fossil bones. The fluorine dating is a relative, non-chronometric or calendrical dating technique. The fluoride ions present in the groundwater and soil reacts with chemically unstable calcium hydroxyapatite crystals present in the bone to form relatively more stable fluoroapatite crystals. The bones will gradually absorb fluoride such that the amount of fluoroapatite present in the bone is directly proportional to the time of deposition of the bone. However, this particular technique has drawbacks like since the fluoride concentration varies with the sediment chemistry and sediment hydrology, fluorine dating can only be used to date the bones from the same location. Second, the absorption of fluorine varies with size as well as density of the bone. Therefore, dating varies from one bone to the another bone. And the third relative dating technique is the nitrogen test. The bone consists of calcium hydroxyapatite, fat, osine protein and the collagen. The collagen as well as osine decays to nitrogen at a constant rate over time thus enabling estimating the time of deposition. This method is not universal since the decay of collagen or osine to nitrogen varies with the physical as well as the chemical properties of the soil in which the bone is found. However, the date of deposits from single burial site can be estimated by the nitrogen dust. Thank you.